Hey everybody, welcome to another one of our awesome technology videos. I'm Paige Libert, one of the consumer technology specialists here at Midcontinent Public Library. And today we are going to talk about Universal Class. So what you're going to need, uh, you're going to need a computer or a mobile device. Uh, you're also going to need an internet connection so that you can actually get on to a browser of some kind. It doesn't have to be anything specific. It can be Wi-Fi, it can be mobile data. If you're coming into one of the library branches, uh, to use our computers to access it, you will need uh, your library card number and PIN to get onto those computers, which works out because you do actually need your library account information to get into Universal Class and set up an account. So with that, I'm just going to promptly hop over um, and get started. So I am here on the Midcontinent homepage. This is our website, and I am going to click here on Research and Learning. And then I'm going to come to online learning. You can find Universal Class all kinds of different ways. You can just do a quick search for it right here on Find Resources. Uh, you can also do the A to Z list. It's in several of the browse subjects um, if you want to go that way. I'm just going online learning because that's kind of my habit. That's where I like to go. Uh, if I scroll down just a little bit, <coughs> sorry, I can get to Universal Class. If I want more information, I can just click More Info. But I'm just going to go directly into it. So clicking on it. See, there you go. You do have to enter your library card number. I'll go ahead and do that. And it's just to verify that you, in fact, exist as a library card user. And then from here, you actually have to <laughs> log in again. Uh, you can browse the classes to see what's in there without being logged in if you're curious of what's in here. Um, but then uh, if you'd like to go ahead and start looking at classes, you can just do register now. It's going to ask you for some of your just basic information. You'll do an email, fill, or your purse, your name, uh, your library information. And that's about it. I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Give it a second to load up. While we're here, so this is, while I wait for it to load, the Universal Class homepage. Up at the top, you can see that you have the options to browse courses and my classes. So browse courses will let you literally look at everything that Universal Class has available. But if I click on my classes, you can see that the classes I am taking um, or have taken. Uh, so I clearly <laughs> went after some cooking and baking. Uh, I enrolled in those early in the pandemic because uh, I am a stress baker at heart. And so I was looking for new ways to stress bake. Um, I also received a sourdough starter as a gift <laughs> a project, maybe. Uh, and so the bread baking class was kind of cool. Uh, but I'm going to come up here and do browse courses instead, just so you can kind of see what this looks like. So I can search for whatever I want, but they also do topics. Uh, so if you're looking, if you wanted to learn how to do coding, that was one of our recent videos. Um, this is where you can go and go to computer training. And it's going to give you all kind of uh, kinds of information about computers and programming and learning different softwares. Uh, if you're just a history buff, you can go in there, check out some of the history videos. There's career training, which is all kinds of upskilling kind of things. Some of it is like using Microsoft products. Some of it is that computer training. Other things are going to be kind of soft skills. So working with uh, customers, working with coworkers, uh, learning how to do some conflict management, um, that kind of stuff. So it's pretty cool, uh, all the different things that are in here. You can see that they have tons of different topics. The web development is also where you can go find that the programming and computer programming. Um, lots of stuff. Self-help is usually where I find all of the cooking and baking stuff, <laughs> if you're curious. Uh, but there are all kinds of things that you can search. So you can just search. You can see I've done all kinds of stuff. So let's just search organization and let's spell it correctly. There we go. <laughs> so if I do that, you can see what comes up. Uh, it's a it's a big mix, honestly. <laughs> so some of it is thinking organization in terms of employers. So like businesses are sometimes called organizations. So some of it is going to be um, kind of focused on businesses and working in the work, like dealing with the workplace stuff. Um, so you have your human resources, there's business management. If you go a little bit further down, 
you'll see there's team management and fundraising. There's also cake decorating 101. So those of you who want to get into cake decorating, um, that does take quite a bit of organization. And then further down we go, you can see even more, very work related for this one. So maybe that's not what we were after. So maybe we just do organize. And then that's where we start to get the stuff we're looking for. So there's clutter control 101. If I go a little bit further down, I might find some of the other ones. There's some craft projects, report writing, back to work. So we'll go ahead and do, we'll do clutter control. I am a mess. So <laughs> let's go ahead and do this one and see what it is. So if you click on a class, uh, you can get in here, you can see what is available from each class. So this one, there's seven total lessons. So each universal class class or course is broken up into different lessons. Um, a lot of them are anywhere between five and 15. Um, I'd say the average is around 10. <laughs> um, the baking classes that I showed you in my classes were largely like 12. Um, there are exams and assignments. So the assignments themselves are oftentimes like making a quick post in a discussion forum. Uh, maybe it's a quick quiz. They do actually have exams that are kind of like a little digital test. Your average time to take to, to complete the course is seven hours. Uh, you can actually, actually earn uh, continuing education credits. Uh, I know there are a lot of employers out there who actually look at those continuing education kind of thing. So being able to say, I have this, um, it's kind of nice. You do get a little certificate that you can print out when you do complete it. There is a video audit available. So if you just want to watch the videos, that's fine. <laughs> so as I scroll down, you can see the kind of areas of study. So this is where uh, those categories, this is where this particular class will show up. So if I want to pick other things that are similar, I can just click on those and it's going to bring up other coursework. Uh, that is that falls in that area of study. You can also read a description. So this will let you know kind of what to expect or at least a little bit more what to expect. Uh, the kind of things that are going to be talked about in the class, maybe some of the assignments. Um, and occasionally it might also let you know some of the requirements. As I keep scrolling down, uh, you get information about each uh, lesson. So remember there were seven lessons. So you can actually see kind of what the topic of each lesson is going to be. You can see the rating. Uh, so after you finish the course, you can rate uh, the course and let them know if it was useful or not. I'm gonna keep scrolling down. So here's the learning outcomes. So now this part is kind of like uh, a classic college course syllabus, just a little bit more digitized. Uh, so you get to see what's expected. So what, what are you going to learn from this class? What the instructor expects you to learn from the class? That's what these outcomes are all about. And then there's information. So additional information. So there's going to be ways to print out your certificate, um, verify your certificates and stuff like that. Um, super helpful. And there's even a student testimonial. Sometimes those are there, sometimes aren't. And then at the very, very bottom, <laughs> there's related courses. So things that might be similar uh, that you might be interested in. So I'm going to really slowly, and there is actually a syllabus. I didn't tell you that, but all the way at the bottom, there is a syllabus. You can find out who the instructor is. So if you're taking a lot of these classes um, and you find that there are maybe a couple instructors that you like, that is a way to go see what else they've done, if they've done anything else. Um, or perhaps if you find one that you're not a fan of, another thing to do. And this is actually graded. So to earn those continuing education credits, you do have to earn a 70% or higher. Uh, so you do actually have to do the assignments and the exams that are a part of the course to get those credits at least. If you were just in it like me for those cooking classes to get some recipes and some tips and tricks, you don't necessarily have to do everything. So if I want to join this class, so just clicking on it doesn't automatically join you in the class. You have to actually click join the course and then you get to choose. You can choose if you want to be video only. So that's just going to be you watch the videos. Um, many universal class video or courses come with a video to watch for each lesson. Um, and frequently there's a transcript or some reading involved. Um, it varies by from class to class. Sometimes the, the text part is a direct translation. 
uh, or transcript of what is in the video. Other times there's some variance um, and you can get good information from both pieces. So to see some of that, you do generally have to join the certificate class, um, but it's fun. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the certificate class just so you guys can see what it looks like. So I'm going to go here and then this took me back to my My Courses page. So I joined the class, took me back to my My Courses page. And now if I want to get started, I can do enter course. Uh, <laughs> so something interesting about Universal Class and some of our other kind of learning, uh, online learning uh, resources like it, um, Universal Class is self-paced. So you can start anytime you want. You can step away from it forever if you'd like to. And then you can come back to it later. You saw all of my my, my classes stuff. Um, I started those back in like April and I could still go right back in and work on the assignments if I wanted to complete them. Um, I'm just letting them sit so I can go back in there and find that cookie recipe that I want to try again. Um, but you don't have to finish them at any time frame. Um, some of our other uh, resources like this do have a set time frame. So you have six weeks um, or so much time to finish them. But for the most part, Universal Class is completely self-paced. You can go through all seven hours of work in one sitting if you would like, or you can split it up over days, weeks, months, years. Um, it's whatever you would like to do and whatever pace you like to work at. So here we are, <laughs> back to the page that we are on. Um, so it's welcoming me, I am Paige. Um, and then you have your first little announcement. So it's just letting you know, hey, please review these things. <laughs> and then don't be shy to go get started in the class forums. You can update your picture. And then as I scroll down, you can see there's all the different lessons. They're locked because I haven't finished the first one. And then I'm going to scroll back up here. There's a start page. I can look at a report card. I can go back to my classes. So if I click on this, don't be shy, get started in the class forum. That actually opens up the general discussion form. If I scroll down a little bit, you can actually see it. <laughs> so you can see there's a general class discussion. There are lots of threads and lots of messages. Uh, the most recent one was today, actually. Today for me is January 27th is when I'm recording this. So the last one was today. Um, then there is a student introduction. So that's kind of a standard thing with a lot of online classes of any flavor. Um, they want you to introduce yourself and generally the people who wrote the class or at least a group of people who contributed to the class <coughs> are going in and looking at the comments and questions and things. And so you can go in and introduce yourself. A lot of times it's just, you know, your name, maybe where you're from, why you're taking the class, something along those lines or what you hope to get out of the course. Um, and as you can see, the most recent post there was on the 24th of January. So just a few days ago. So it is very, it is used, it is widely used. It's kind of nice. It's a good place to go if you have questions um, and maybe want to just see what other people have to say. So I'm gonna close that. Uh, if you want to, you can do the learning outcomes. So we already saw those on that when we were kind of looking at the main page before we got started in the class, but that brings them up. You can go read through them again, gives you a good understanding of what you're expected to learn and hopefully what you're expected to do. So we'll go ahead and return. If I wanted to add a picture, I could, I'm not going to. And so you can see, here we are. Lesson one is the introduction. I can view the lesson. I can also see that there is an introduction assignment. So I'm gonna go ahead, pop in there. So this is what the assignments look like <laughs> when you get into universal class. Uh, so it actually tells you that the average word count is 78 words. So this is the introductions. So that discussion forum I just told you or showed you, it asks you to actually go in and introduce yourself. Um, a little bit about yourself, why you decided to take this class at this time in your life. Uh, it gives you a quick idea of how complex it's going to be. Uh, sometimes you'll get in there and all of a sudden you see it is very hard, like, oh no, <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? Um, but it usually you can get through all of the assignments as long as you've kind of done some of the work. <laughs> uh, and you can see that it's worth 10 points. So I'm going to go ahead and return the lesson. 
So I just did return to the lesson, which means I actually started the lesson. So back on that main page where I initially clicked the introduction assignment, if I had just clicked view lesson, this is where I would have gone. So if I scroll down, you can kind of get to read. There's some stuff. So stuff like this where it's honestly answer the following questions. These are kind of maybe not rhetorical, but you're answering them to yourself. There's not a space that you have to answer the hose. Um, and then you can just read through. So awesome. And then down here, at the very bottom, hopefully I'm not scrolling too fast, is a short video that you can watch. <coughs> and then you can rate the lesson if you'd like to. And then there's lesson surveys. So you can quickly give a little survey of why you're taking the class. And then again, you have a link to that assignment. At the bottom here, you have kind of some navigation, so you can just watch the video. Um, this will take you to any activities that are currently open. You can hit the discussion board, so if you click that, that'll take you to that discussion board. If you want to print out this text <laughs> that we kind of scrolled through, um, you can do that. Sorry, scrolling down as slow as I can. And then this will kind of take you on if, you have completed assignments. I have not completed the assignments, so it won't let me continue. And so that's something to consider. Um, if you are wanting to continue on in the courses, you have to actually complete the assignments to continue on to the next lesson, and it does keep track. <laughs> so with that, I'm gonna show you the report card. See that my current grade is a big fat zero, <laughs> but that is because I have done no work. But you can actually go in here and track and kind of see where you're, where you're at. What have you done? Where you going um, on that main information page you saw you had to have a 70 percent to get that continuing education credit so this is a good spot to go to make sure that you are on track to get that um, and you get an idea of how the points are broken down so if i click this plus button right here you can see that that is just the 10 points but if you're like hey 105 points holy moly what is that for and you can actually see what the actual breakdown is so there's three different assignments and a quiz um, so that's how that ended up being so high. But you can keep track and see what you've submitted that way. You can check your grades that way. If you're curious about kind of working with the report card and how it's useful, uh, they've got some information on that for you down here at the bottom. So I'm going to scroll back up to the top. And I'm actually going to go to my classes. So I'm going to go into the how to bake cookies. So you can see I have completed <laughs> most of these courses. Um, so you can see this is what happens when you finish a course. You have that, yay, you've done it, final grade 100%, um, ready for graduation. So you can do your I'm done. You can review the class lessons, which is why I'm leaving this one open because there are actually lessons I want to go back and look at. Um, but once you are ready to go, you can just click done and you'll get uh, your certificate which you can print out or just store as a PDF. Uh, it's kind of nice. But if you ever want to go back and review your course lessons, you can do that. So I just clicked on that. And then you can scroll on down so you can get to the various lessons, which is why. So lesson four is the one I'm holding on to. Because <laughs> way down in the text is where I found a cookie recipe that I thoroughly enjoyed. Uh, but this is really cool. Uh, this class, if you're interested in baking at all, <laughs> is super handy because um, it teaches you how to make a whole bunch of things that I have never known how to make. Uh, so I'm kind of trying to scroll. There's a lot of text. This one's a lot of reading, as you can see. And I kind of wanted to show you this so that you could see it's not all a very short read. Sometimes it is a very long read. Um, but you can see that that was a long read and it's a 22 minute video. And what she makes in this video is different than what shows up in the text, which is why I kind of brought you here um, <laughs> in addition to showing you a completed course, but so that you could see that it's not always going to be the exact same setup. Um, sometimes you're going to have videos that are much longer. Um, you're going to have uh, text to read that is much longer. But what is nice, so you can actually complete the activities here. Um, so they're taking you out to recipes that you can try. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to scroll up very 
as slowly as I can do it and not take forever. Apologies if you get a little seasick from this. Look away for a moment. All right, back at the top. <laughs> so I'm going to come over here and click that little picture, the little meeple looking thing. So this is your account. <laughs> Um, so you can get in there and basically click on the same stuff that you could get in the main boards, but you can check, click, uh, mess with your account options. So changing your passwords and those sorts of things. Um, you can do your achievements. So you can look at any certificates you've received. Um, you can do your profile. You can see I'm level one. I have not really taken that many classes and those that I have, I have not necessarily finished. Um, and you can see that I have four active classes. And then right here, your little hamburger menu. Uh, you can get in here, and this is because I'm in this class, this is actually for <laughs> within the class. So you can email the whole class, you can look at the discussions, check surveys, and that sort of thing. But if I go back into Universal Class homepage, that's different. So it becomes course management. So you can go in there and look at your courses. Um, you can manage them. So if I wanted to withdraw, I guess we'll just go do that real quick. Uh, so clutter control, I think I'm just going to go ahead and stay the mess that I am. So I'm going to withdraw from that course. And so it gives you a quick warning like, yeah, you're not going to get any of your continuing education credits. Um, you're not going to be completed and you're not able to rejoin the course for 60 days. So you get you literally get put in timeout <laughs> uh, for two months. Uh, and then you're welcome to rejoin the class at that point. So I'm going to go ahead and withdraw. You can see that I can withdraw from the other courses if I want to. I am choosing not to. And the last little bit is going to show you over here on the left hand side, you have a lot of those similar things. You have your achievements, your classes, profile, and your contacts, you your inbox. So you have a little universal class email, um, kind of like, uh, well, not really like your regular work email. It's a little unique. Um, but you can receive emails from either other people in the courses that you're taking or from the instructor. Uh, sometimes they'll reach out and either respond to some of your assignments or ask for clarification on some of your assignments. Uh, you can also see any emails you've sent. You can check your surveys you and check your account options. And then, of course, down here, your recommendations. And that is kind of universal class in a nutshell. So I just want to say thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have some time to go and explore Universal Class and kind of learn some new things, cool things. Uh, it's a great place to go to find a little bit of everything. Um, it's not all uh, work education. Uh, some of it is just fun stuff like baking um, or there's fitness stuff if you want to learn how to do yoga. Uh, all kinds of stuff. So if you enjoyed this video and you would like to watch more of our videos, you can find us on Facebook. We are MCPL360. Uh, we put out new videos every Tuesday at 2, Wednesday at 1, and Friday at 1. And then if you missed any of those videos or want to check out any of our older videos, we are also on YouTube. Uh, you can do just a quick search for MCPL-MO um, and subscribe to our channels. And find the Consumer Technology Playlist while you're out there. Uh, that will take you to all of our videos. We have tons, uh, and we would love it if you'd give us a watch. So thank you for joining us, and have a good week.